Welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. Today we are doing a Libra, a Libra reading, and those cards just wanted to fly out already. Um, so, um, I'm hoping that if you like my reading, that you will like, subscribe, and share. I'm trying to say it at the beginning because I always forget to do it at the end. Um, but if if you do find something that resonates with you, let me know in the comments, please. It just helps me get better, and it helps me know that I'm I'm reaching my my audience. In any case, um. We're just doing a general reading for Libra today. Um, I had a somebody specially request that we do the shamanic, uh, where are you? Shamanic medicine tarot, which is this guy here, um, to to kind of do a reading, just kind of see how they work um, with cards. Um, so, anyway, we will be using this. I'm in the middle of the reading somewhere, um, but I did want to kind of do this just to kind of get an overall idea of where uh, Libra is. And the very first two cards that have popped out for the Prairie, Majest uh, Prairie Majesty Oracle is What Enchants Me. I always think that the best, um, you get the best answers um, by asking better questions, right? Or the better the question, the better the answers. Um, so these are really great um, in kind of um, asking questions of the cards and um, kind of getting those answers. So however this relates to you or how these cards, um, these questions resonate for you is probably the right answer for you. So what enchants me? Uh, the card itself is delight and it has wild bergamot um, on here, which is a flower. Um, am I honoring my knowing? Um, this is trust. This is the white tailed deer. So what enchants me and am I honoring my knowing is going to be the overall kind of message or theme um, for this, this reading. I'm going to put that over here like so. And I kind of want to just, uh, I want to pull out some other cards. We're going to pull out a bunch of cards and then we'll start kind of doing the full reading. Um, but I do kind of know um, Libra. Who are you right now in your situation? Who does Lisa think that is in this situation? <laughs> All right, let's see. Who you think you are right now, Libra? This is who you think you are. All right, and you are traveling fool. Maybe something's going slow. Maybe you're moving slow. Maybe you've been internationally traveling. Maybe you're in separation. Maybe you're wishing for someone. Let's see. Maybe there's something that you want and you're waiting for it to get to you. All right. Um, and who, who are you really? Who are you really? Interesting. Okay. And what is your purpose? Interesting. Okay. So I do kind of feel like, um, okay. My very first inclination is that somebody's going on a trip. Um, they've been talking about this for, for some time. Um, maybe there has even been some gossip behind it. Um, quite a bit of stress, um, worry. Um, they're concerned about, uh, debt. Um, and the purpose for the question, the overall question for this particular person or for Libra in general, um, is do I have the, have the money for it? Do you know what I mean? Um, and I almost feel like <clears throat> if you're going away or if you're, if you're questioning, you know, is going to travel and kind of do something, um, I feel like that's who you want to be. That's what you what you want to be doing. But then you're also finding that there's a tremendous amount of stress with the with this kind of travel. Um, it's making you sick. It's causing um, stress on your nervous system. Um, maybe some of you were robbed um, and you didn't get um, or or you know taken advantage of somehow, and maybe. Um, Uh, and maybe, uh, you know, the outcome for that is going to be, you're going to get your money back. Um, but there's definitely some money, money kind of coming towards you. So that's good news. 
Um, but I feel like um, at the very least, you're kind of wanting to know timing or movement um, in your question um, in terms of what a chance you it looks like travel might be doing that. Um, are you honoring your knowing? Um, are you trusting the process? It doesn't feel like you're trusting the process um, at all. All right, so let's kind of take a look at these a little bit deeper. I want to know, um, what does Libra need to know about themselves? How are you positively or negatively affecting your situation? Um, or the situation and how is it affecting you? All right. What does Libra need to know about themselves in the situation? How do, oh, and you need to know that your soul retrieval reclamation. So I almost feel like you um, need to pull back some of your energy here. Um, what is being created as a result of this? I'll put this here. What is being created? Truth is coming out. And what is getting destroyed? What is the consequence of the situation? What is being destroyed? Whoa. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. So for some of you, you might be stepping outside of your comfort zone. Um, I feel like maybe for some of you, you've been working, 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 you've worked for other people maybe your whole life, and you're like, this soul sucking job is the first thing that <laughs> kind of came to mind here. Um, so I feel like you're pulling your energy away from this soul sucking job or whatever it is that you find to be kind of soul sucking, um, and you're reclaiming, um, reclaiming your own, your own higher self, your own power, your own intuition, your own thoughts, um, and in doing that, you're finding your own inner truth. Um, but as a result of kind of going after this, I feel like you're worried about money. Um, this is just whatever it is that you're pursuing, whatever it is that you're going after. Maybe it's something that you have to travel to. Maybe it's something that's very stressful, but I feel like this is something that you feel like you need to do. So whether it's therapy, you're doing some therapy. Um, it feels like you are definitely, um, reaching in to find your inner truth. Um, I think what you, you might feel like, gosh, this is just so expensive or, Maybe um, you don't need to give away so much. So I feel like it can be either way. When you're pulling back your soul and you're reclaiming, you know, things that no longer, you know, reclaiming energy that you didn't have to give away, that there's no reason for you to give away. Um, maybe you're pulling back maybe the generosity that you have towards other people. Maybe the generosity that you have may have been kind of inappropriate. And what are better ways of kind of um, expressing that? So I feel like you're pulling away from actual, like, monetary gifts um and maybe whatever it is that you you're kind of going after you kind of feel is costing too much money but the only thing i can say to that is you're worth it right you're you're worth it spirit wants you to know um uh you're worth it um this is an important process in your expression and learning your self-expression and finding your own voice um you have to express your inner truth and your own feelings um uh, money is an expression of some other anxiety or fear. Um, there's something deeper. Are you honoring your knowing? What do you know that's under the surface? What is just there that's under the surface that you know? You're learning to trust yourself.
you're healing. You're healing and you are investing in yourself instead of others for once. Um, I feel like receiving love from source, receiving love from yourself, saying that you are worth it, uh, infinitely worth it, um, is also bringing you closer to uh, your soul family. Um, you are bathing in uh, source energy. Um, you're reconnecting to source. You're becoming part of source. You're becoming the vessel towards source. Um, money is an issue only if you put money is only an issue if you put attention there. So if you have the attention of lack of money, then spirit will bring you lack of money. But if you have the attention that you know that this is worth something, that um, you finding yourself uh, is worth something, then the money uh, the money will come. It will it will be provided for. I think just kind of I'm, I'm getting the sensation of continue on your path. It is scary. It is going to cost you a little bit of money. Um, but trust the process. You deserve it. You're worthy. Okay. Um, what do, what does Libra need to embrace? What does Libra need to embrace? So we have fear. Oh, Absolutely. Face your fears. Definitely face your fears. You know what it is? It's like fear can make us like shy away from something, right? Even though, if, you know, fear is good. Like if we see a snake and we hear a rattle, like probably fear is a good thing there, right? Somebody's is um, coming at us with a knife or a gun. Fear is a good thing there. But when we are afraid to act because... Uh, we don't feel worthy. Like, I'm really afraid to ask my boss for a raise. Um, if you kind of lean into that fear and go, well, why? That person's just a, you know, it's just a boss. It's just a person. He's another human being just like me. What am I so afraid of? That he's going to say no? Do you know what I'm saying? So um, we also have lots of little fears, you know, like opening up to people. We have fear about um, being successful. We have fears. So I feel like, um, what you need to do is embrace your fears when you're feeling and experiencing fear. Um, and there's not like, you know, imminent death, um, question it, lean into it, make yourself scared, figure out why, um, so that you can grow from it. Um, wow, that's just too many. I'm really sorry. There's like 10 cards that popped out. So, um, but spirit, if you can give me one card as to what um, Libra should continue. Thank you very much. Um, we've got a Gemini sim symbol here. It says um, disguise. Um, so I feel like, um, wow, what an interesting combination, right? Um, embrace your fears. Um, maybe disguise them. I'm going to get the, what, what do we need to release before we kind of continue with this part of the reading? Let's see what they need to release. We've got fear. We need to embrace fear, right? And maybe that's something that enchants you, right? Maybe, maybe you're the kind of person who wants to go skydiving. You like that thrill. Um, so maybe embracing your fear. If you're somebody who likes to perform and go up on stage and that feels like, you know, jumping out of an airplane for you, um, maybe, um, embracing your fear there. Disguise. Disguise, I'm going to, I'm going to sit with that one for a minute because I kind of feel like if you're going to continue to disguise, uh, I want some more information on that one. And then what are we going to release? What are we going to release here? What does Libra need to release? Well, maybe you're continuing on with the Gemini here. <laughs> um... But I think actually rather than a disguise, um, I'm getting the feeling of a chameleon. This is a chameleon here. And I kind of feel like chameleons kind of uh, go with the flow, blend in with the crowd, right? And I, and I feel like this is like overcome your fear. So um, in, in disguise, if you've been thinking about dyeing your hair like pink or something like that, and it's just completely out of character, but you've always wanted to do it. Um, you know, I feel like face your fear and kind of like go out there and... And, and do it. So I feel like if there's something that you've been wanting to do, um, fake it till you make it kind of, kind of 
deal is what I'm kind of getting there. Okay, thank you. Um, and then it says deal. Um, and so, release deal. This could be Aries as well. Aries or Capricorn. I'm definitely feeling like facing your fears, thinking of, you know, leaning into the things that make you feel uncomfortable, embracing your true nature, your true feelings, um, and, and living them out loud, not like at, at the top of your lungs, but just being yourself, very much being yourself is going to free you to, to be your best you, right? Um, and it is going to give you the opportunity to, to express yourself, um, as the vessel from spirit, right? You, you will have spirit working through you, speaking through you, acting through you, um, as you become more in tune and in line, uh, align with yourself and that every fear is simply a, a blockage in, in that alignment. So leaning into that fear, finding where it came, comes from, um, figuring out the very first time you felt that, that level of fear and, and where it came from and healing that part of yourself, um, allowing yourself to kind of feel those deeper emotions more openly, um, in public even, um, it, one of the hardest things to do is to cry and show weakness in front of other things. Um, it is often the bravest things that um, the people around us are incredibly amazed and, and look at as strength. So I feel like you will free yourself from self-judgment. Um, there's definitely quite a bit of healing going on. Um, and and I think um, it, it's it's fruitless and a waste of your it is a waste of your money if you even focus on the money itself, right? Um, so I also feel like um, you did get a deal on it. Um, maybe you know you went away or you're going away to a um, a retreat um, to kind of get this kind of healing. Um, but maybe you did get a deal, or maybe you are going to get a deal um, as a result of of going on this retreat or getting this, this healing. All right. What do we have next? Um, what obstacles are you facing right now? Libra, what obstacles are you facing right now? I'm actually going to read the soul retrieval, um, directly from the book. There's a bigger explanation there. Um, feel like it needs to be done um but i do feel like you're going through this um space of recovering your own energy conserving it for yourself um so the obstacles that you are facing right now is um i feel like you're waiting for something to happen so or you're waiting for a final result it's a wheel of fortune anything anything could happen um, you're looking to run into your your destiny. You don't know which way to maybe go. Um, you feel like okay. So we're getting this now. We're getting into this. You do definitely need to trust the universe. Um, you know what what you focus on, what you think about, you bring about. If you're thinking about lack of money, I don't have enough money for this. Guess what? You're not going to have enough money for it. However, um, and that is a limiting belief here, right? So um, financial and material changes, um, you're vibrating um, and blocking money based on your fear of not having it, right? Um, um, and in fact, it's, it's lowering your vibration. Um, it is slowing money coming to you. Um, and I'm seeing that slow movement and that fear is what's really getting in the way. So know that this is your destiny. Know that you have to go through this process. You have to spend the money on yourself. You have to heal yourself. You've got to, um, think of all the things that you bought for other people 
at, at this point. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Look, look at all the things that you do and have purchased and done for other people. It is time to do that, that for yourself. And you did get a deal on this. You are getting some sort of a discount. You are saving some money. And maybe that's part of like who you are. But the whole purpose behind this is that you need to um, you are, you are leaning into your fear. So, um, you are leaning into to your fear of not having, or this lack so that you can kind of get this healing and maybe even, um, better relationship with money as well. Let's see what else. How can you overcome this vibrational thought process? How can you overcome, how can Libra overcome uh, this limiting belief. Trust your inner strength. Um, discipline your mind. Discipline your thoughts. Um, if you are worried, then you're out of alignment with your true self, your highest self. You're you're um, you're no longer allowed. You are no long. You have blockages in uh, the vessel um, for which spirit moves through, acts through, speaks through. So I feel like, um, a lot of this is going to be, um, this is a lesson in, in training your thoughts and your, and your, and your mind. If you're going to, to put worry out there, it vibrated that you got to figure out a way to counterbalance that worry and, and go back to trust. Am I honoring my knowing? You know that what you're doing in this healing that you're doing, you have to do. It's necessarily you, it's necessary. You must do it. So knowing that you must do it, um, I mean, knowing that you must do it, you've got to, you've got to discipline your thoughts. You just got to discipline your thoughts. You survived this far. You, you've gone without money before you've, you've done without before everybody's done without on some level and you're going to do what you, you got to do what you need to do in order to get through this healing process. And so just kind of rely on your own inner strength. Um, don't allow your mind to wander or focus on thoughts there. Try to um, reverse the thoughts that money comes easily. Money comes always when I need it. Resources always come as, as I need it. Um, it comes to me easily. Everything is always working out for me, um, which is the favorite <laughs> Esther Hicks one I like to use right now. Everything is always working out for me. Um, oh, I didn't even get to answer the question. So the next question is how can you overcome your limiting uh, beliefs and low vibrations and the star card came out or hope um, comes out and because there's so much yellow in this my immediate um, thing is solar plexus right the solar plexus chakra which is basically your soul your self-esteem your self-worth um, you have to know that you're worthy you are worthy of the money that you're spending. Um, you are worthy of all the money you would have spent on other people instead of yourself. Um, so there, there, um, there is hope, you know, and you can feel empowered that not only will, do you have the inner strength and you'll continue to discover it and strengthen it as well. And let's see, how can you keep your, uh, how can you keep your vibrations high, right? So how do you, how do you get out of this mindset of, I, I'm lacking, I'm afraid of not, um, of not having enough, um, embracing your true, your true feelings, right? Of, of happiness though, looking towards your bliss, your happiness. What are you grateful for in the moment and truly and feeling that emotionally appreciating it, um, and then expressing it, right? Um, uh, just showing gratitude and appreciation and expressing it. Um, that in and of itself, that exercise alone will, will strengthen your, your inner peace. It will, um, it, you will tap into your inner strength just by loving what is true for you. You feel uncomfortable, you know, like, um, in a situation and you, you, even if you don't speak up, if you acknowledge to yourself, I feel uncomfortable, right? Um, maybe even to the person next to you, or maybe to like somebody you're texting and you just acknowledge your own feelings of, I feel uncomfortable. That is your own inner strength that you are tapping into and you're cultivating. And when you cultivate, I am feeling uncomfortable with whatever the situation may be. Um, you can have enough self-esteem and self-worth to change the circumstances of the situation to better serve you to the best of your ability. Um, but there's definitely hope, um, 
uh, financial hope, uh, as well as just kind of that internal turmoil that you kind of, um, that you're kind of going through. about money. I, I feel like, I feel like you are changing your limiting beliefs about money that, um, if you can't afford it, you can't do it. And I feel like you're learning that if you want to do anything bad enough, you can get it done. You can make it happen. And that might mean that you live at a youth hostel for a month while you travel the countryside of France. Oh no. Um, <laughs> instead of having, you know, the Georgia sank or whatever, um, you know, in, in Paris or whatever, um, you know, but you still get to see the countryside. You still get to see another, another country. So, um, I don't, I really don't feel like the financial side of this is really going to affect you. I think that the lack of finances is more in your head and you're focused and more worried on it about it than, than is actually to something to be worried about. Um, but I do think it's important that you honor your feelings, that you um, bring your wealth home and show self-discipline and not giving away uh, everything, um, and that you use your resources to care for yourself first in this moment. Um, uh, I almost feel like you've made a, a deal with spirit, so to speak, um, to, to just kind of, uh, money will be provided. Um, but you must continue on this um, renewal, this soul uh, retrieval and reclamation of where you've given your power away, um, which truly just kind of like um, affects kind of like your self-esteem. And I do want to read this card right here, this soul retrieval. There's one more card that needs to come out. Um, there's one more card that needs to kind of come out. Um, um, but we really, I really feel like you need to really believe that you are worthy. Um, I'm really, that's what's kind of coming through, particularly with this hope rate. You are worthy. You deserve love. You deserve to feel happy. You deserve to feel healthy. You, um, deserve all your greatest pleasures, right? You deserve to have the best of everything that you can think of because as you, if you believe that you will attract those things to you. And as you attract those things to you, you'll believe more that you're deserving and worthy of a, an amazing life experience because that is our purpose to, to, to create a uh, positive, uh, 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 pleasurable, um, uh, expressions of our truest, um, or our highest self, right? We're, we're here to just love and be loved essentially <laughs> be grateful for what we have and and grateful for how we grow um and expand our our consciousness um so i'm just gonna read this really quick i feel like i'm going off track but i do have one more um uh, it's just telling me to take the top card here <laughs> okay i'll just take the top card there uh five of so it's obstacles and challenges. Um, I feel like as you continue to overcome your challenges, you're going to realize that spirit has your back. Um, I almost feel like overcoming obstacles and challenges is your freest expression of who you are. Um, and I don't want to say that uh, you're always right, um, but you're always right. <laughs> Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you're always right. I mean, if you're truly right and you're always right, then you're right. And that is your freest and truest expression of yourself. Um, but I do feel like life is a maze for you. Everything is an exploration and, 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 uh, uh, solving the problem to get to the next part of that exploration or that adventure is kind of like what you, what you're, what you're kind of going for and um, what kind of makes you follow, follow your bliss, <laughs> follow your bliss. Um, it keeps you going. It's like a pat on the back, uh, for yourself. All right. So let's, um, let's read this one. Cause I want to read this one. I couldn't find it. Here it is. Here it is. All right. So this is the soul retrieval. Um, and this is from the shamanic, Uh, shamanic medicine guidebook. So I'm going to do this soul retrieval here. And it says, 
Your emotions and feelings are running amok, leaving you confused and out of control. You're weary from putting the needs of others before your own. This card suggests there has been a struggle due to a lack of self-worth, stress, and distress. Recently, you have felt as though you have lost a part of yourself and have been rather dis dispirited. Fragments of your beautiful soul are lost every time you give away your personal power to others or are verbally or physically attacked. Remember the fears, beliefs, and faiths of others have played a big part in creating who you are not. Discernment enables you to separate others' thoughts and actions from your own. Soul retrieval journeys with you to lower and upper worlds where the fragmented parts of your soul reside. This can only be accessed with the assistance of your power animals and spirit guides. So be sure to call upon them by bringing the missing parts of your soul back and reconnecting with them. You will once again feel whole and complete. Allow soul retrieval to restore harmony as you reclaim all that you are to step fully into your personal power. Soul retrieval revealed this ancient shamanic practice is part of a process that can heal original wounds and soul loss, calling on power animals, allies, and spirit helpers. The shaman journeys to the lower upper world to retrieve fragmented parts of the soul of the person they are working with. Soul loss can occur due to the loss of a loved one, trauma, an incident, an accident, or abuse. Other divinatory meanings step into your authenticity. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. You are seeing the truth in a situation. Open your eyes to what others are really saying. Be gentle with yourself. You are on the mend. Release judgment of yourself and others. Connect with and trust your guides. So, um, I mean, I mean, what more can can you really say other than? Um, you're reclaiming your power. Um, you're recognizing that what you've been told and what you've been taught is, is the right thing, isn't necessarily right for you. And you are reclaiming your own inner strength and your own inner power and your own inner voice. Um, and, and you're going to get through this. <laughs> There's absolutely, um, hope you you will release these burdens you will feel that you are worthy um you're not going to be perfect every time and experiencing um how you are what your emotions are in the moment um but you'll overcome those obstacles you'll ov overcome those those challenges um let's just do this last little one here let's see what it says um what what is one thing in Libra's life that they are not being honest about? What is one thing in Libra's life that they are not being honest about? What is Libra not being honest about in their life? All right. We've got the magician manifestation. How can I bring awareness and healing to this area? We've got the three of cups and the emperor. Um, what is the most important thing Libra needs right now? Compassion, self-compassion. And and how can you be more compassionate with yourself, Libra? How can you be more compassionate with yourself? There you go. Six of staffs. All right. So as I look at these cards, I feel like the one thing in your life that you're not being honest with yourself about, which you're not seeing, and you're, it's a choice because if you think on it, you are okay. You are okay financially. You have enough money to pay for the cell phone or the device that you're watching this video on. You um, have a roof over your head. Hopefully you've been fed today. Um, so you're not, oops, laundry's done. You're not um, manifesting, um, you're not being truly honest with yourself about what your resources are and how you're able to manifest more resources towards you. Um, I also feel like you're not enjoying uh, taking responsibility uh, 
for yourself. And, and I do, I feel like you almost need to find joy in taking uh, responsibility um, for yourself. And there is joy in doing that. There is a gratitude in being able to be independent and, and to own, own your choices. Um, so try not to be, you know, overindulgent in anything. Um, I, I almost feel like <laughs> you've got this thing where you're stressing about money, but you're also overindulging. Um, and being maybe a little bit reckless. Um, I feel like uh, you're kind of being dishonest with yourself. Almost in the sense that you... And I'm definitely in a feminine energy here. Like you are worrying about money that you don't have to worry about. Like you are fine. And you're worried about the money. And so the only thing that I can say is that you have to get through this. You have to indulge this. You have to know that you're worthy. You have to treat yourself, spoil yourself, love yourself like no one has ever loved you before. Because if you can't, who else will? Right? <laughs> if you can't define what that ultimate love is and what it feels like to absolutely love yourself, who is going to who's going to be able to do that for you? No one. No one. If you can't do it for yourself, you can't. You, no one's going to be able to do it for you. Um, so I feel like... Um, with this Queen of Cups, I really feel very much that this is this is you. Um, I feel like the most important person you need right now is you. And I feel like you need to be self-compassionate. I feel like you need to heal. Um, anytime we need self-compassion, anytime we're looking for inner strength, anytime we're reclaiming our power from, you know, societal values, our parents, a significant other, ab abusive um, situations or trauma or things that we're pouring energy into. I feel like... Uh, one, you have a tendency to be hard on yourself. Maybe that has propelled your, you and, and driven you. Um, but I feel like you've reached an, a level of success and the conquest now is how to be happy in it. Um, so that's very much what I'm kind of getting, uh, from, from this, this reading. So I feel like the most important thing that you need right now is you. Um, and then if we get to the six of staffs really um, defines the six of staffs really defines um, success right it's good news you're gonna overcome all of this stuff you're gonna learn to, to love yourself and all of this fretting that you're doing about um, financial situation is just gonna um, you're gonna realize that you're gonna have everything that you want when you come to the end of this um, that you don't have to concern yourself with the money because money comes easily and all the time um, especially when you're open to it um, you're going to overcome your fear essentially um, by just kind of giving to yourself loving yourself um, I don't um, normally end um, I, I always end the the um, readings with another Oracle message which is this one right here um, that I'm doing but I usually pick these out as I'm kind of going through the reading so I'm just going to shuffle this really quick because um, I did pick this um, as a result of the reading. And I'm just using the Soul's Journey um, Lesson Cards by uh, James Von Prague. Um, and let's see what these cards have to say about you kind of overcoming um, this kind of internal chatter and kind of beating yourself up for taking care of yourself. Um, but, you know, going after what you love and, and loving yourself Oh, and this is just telling you to persevere. Um, so this is saying perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Um, and absolutely, that is very true of, of Librans. You guys are very um, capable of getting the, getting the job done and getting it done well. Um, very diligent. And I think perseverance is, is a great way of uh, defining Libras as well. Um but I do feel like the, the task of the day is indulging in your emotions and disciplining your mind. So emotions and thoughts are completely different. Um, but you're going to need to try and you're going to need to persevere um, at getting in touch with your heart, your heart chakra. Um, the last card that I'm going to pull is a water card. I have been doing this lately. But basically this guy in Japan 
did this experiment on water molecules where he labeled bottles of water love and humility and um, I don't know, wealth, abundance, um, all kinds of <laughs> gratitude, thanks, um, what else? All, all these different things. And then, and then he would freeze them and they'd make these gorgeous, beautiful crystals, kind of like, like these, right? These like snowflake kind of like beautifully formed crystals. And then he would put something um, on another bottle like hate, right? And then they would get these, and I don't think there are any deformed crystals in here. But when I read the book, they would show these horribly... Um, just almost polluted, disgusting looking, um, malformed, um, water molecules. So the experiment was if, if we're talking to water, right. And we call it, and we call it love it. And the people do this with plants too. You know, you, you tell it wonderful things and you say all kinds of nice things and it grows big and tall. And then you tell the other plant, um, I don't like you. You're an ugly plant. You don't grow very well and it doesn't grow very well. <laughs> um, so I figure since we're all 70% water, I think it is important in what we tell ourselves and what we put in our bodies um, and what we're telling ourselves we're putting in our bodies. So just putting the label on, um, the, on your water bottle should change your I don't know. It should just change. <laughs> um, it should, it changes the structure of the water molecule. So you're actually drinking love or gratitude or something. This is what I'm doing these days anyways. Um, so this is your water bottle message, um, for the month of June. Oh, wow. And look at, you got this beautiful crystal. It's perfectly balanced because you're so librarian, uh, Libran. Um, and it says rainforest, which is earth. So, so your blessing um, that that uh, spirit wants you to kind of focus on is outside of you. Um, being grateful for the rainforest because most of our water on some level is coming from rainforests, I guess. According to uh, the book here, it says uh, the Earth's oldest living ecosystem, rainforest, covered 2% of Earth's surface or 6% of its land mass. Yet they house over half the plant and animal species on Earth. One fourth of our medicines and many of the foods we eat today originated in rainforests. So, um, I almost feel like this is um, uh, think lo or or think globally, act locally kind of th thing. Where if you are have awareness to the rainforest, then you're putting energy and positive light energy um, to the rainforest. So maybe I don't know. <sighs> Usually I get something else, but I feel like this is a, a something to reconnect. Uh, really, you want to put something on your water bottle that's going to reconnect you with um, with the earth um, and be grateful for the, for the water that you have. So rainforest is the vibration. Um, this is the crystal. It's a big portion of rainforest, a big portion of our ecosystem. Um, so hopefully that helps for you. Um, or helps you. If you liked my video, please like, subscribe, and share. If anything in particular re resonated for you, um, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful, blessed day.